Wow. Welcome to another video. It do be being hella J. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the frozen money glitch in Grand Theft Auto 5 online. And yes, I know I already have a video covering this, but this one is just going to be a little bit more specific than that one. What we need for this glitch is Save Wizard PS4 Max, a USB thumb drive, a PC and or Mac. And that's all we need for this. So for this first portion of the video, I'm going to show you how to register your account with Save Wizard. So we're gonna put our empty USB drive on our PlayStation. We are then going to head over to settings, saved data management, close whichever application you have open, then go to saved data and system storage, copy to USB storage device. Ignore this notification, click OK, and then just go to any game save. The game save I'm using is Franklin and Lamar, 1.6%. That is the very first place in Grand Theft Auto V that you can make a game save. So that's why that is what that is. It do be. So now we're going to head on over to our computer. We're going to unplug our USB from our PlayStation and plug it in to our computer. In my computer, it's the Hella Drive. Once it's plugged in, we're going to open up Save Wizard. Now that Save Wizard is open and we've accepted all these notifications, what we are going to do is click on the arrow next to our game save. We are then going to right click on our game save and click register profile. On Mac, it seems to be a little bit touchy, but it still works. So I'm gonna register this profile and this is a new, brand new PSN. So I'm just gonna call it Gordy something or another, you know. It, it didn't like that. Okay, well, we're gonna call it something okay then success okay it worked cool so now that we have that registered we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go download the game save from Dropbox so just do a direct download and then you're gonna need to empty out the USB drive so mine's emptied I'm gonna make a new folder called PS4 because this is the save file hierarchy. And then we're going to go ahead and just drag our saved data, which we downloaded from Dropbox, and just put it on in there. Now we're going to just close this, exit out of Safari, Safari, Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever you used, exit out of it, and let's open up Save Wizard again. So now that we have opened up Save Wizard, we're just going to click on Grand Theft Auto 5, and we're going to click Resign. So click on that. Click on current game progress and then click on resign again and then choose the account you want to resign. So I'm resigning Gordy Jr. Jr. And uh, it's going to take a second here. It's going to look a little stuck. Come on, bud. You can do it. There you go. So now we're done. That's registered to me, Gordy, Go Gordy Jr. Jr. And uh, don't do the save data five, don't do that one. If you do that, you're just gonna crash save wizard, just ignore it. So now that we've done that, that's on our USB drive. So we have to head back on over to our PlayStation 4. Now that we are at our PlayStation 4, guess where we're gonna go? Back to settings. Then we're gonna go to, you guessed it, saved data management. Go to saved data on USB storage device. Copy to system storage and then grab, it should be Franklin and Lamar 100%. So now that that is done, we are going to boot Grand Theft Auto 5. We're gonna let it load into story. So now that we've loaded into story, all we're gonna do is click options on our controller, head to game, load game, and load up that save that we just modded in Save Wizard. Now that we've loaded in, we should be in this car, under the map, we're just going to go to options, online, play GTA online, invite only session. 
We're going to load into our online session. And then we're just going to leave it. Online. Leave GTA online. Okay, now that we've loaded into story mode, we are going to be loaded in as homie G here. You're gonna get a phone call from Simeon. You can answer it and just decline it. It's not gonna ruin our glitch. Let's call in a buzzard. So I'm gonna call in the buzzard using the cheat code. Circle, circle, L1, circle, circle, L1, L2, R1, triangle, circle, triangle. Let's give it a try. Okay, well, let's try circle, circle, L1, circle, 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 L1, L2, R1, triangle, circle, triangle again. Really? Okay. Let's try it one more time in the open street. Circle, circle, L1, circle, 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 L1, L2, R1, triangle, circle, triangle. Okay, we've got our buzzard. So now we are going to head to this location. It's the Los Santos Customs by the airport. Now that we are here, we're going to just hop this fence and go to the peyote. You can go to any peyote location on the map. This one is just the easiest for me. So once we are at our peyote, we're going to click right on the D-pad to consume it. So we're going to consume this peyote. We're going to start tripping balls. And then we're going to spawn in as an animal. Once we've spawned in it as an animal, all we're going to do is hold right D-pad to exit out of the peyote and just click start online, play GTA online, and click invite only session. Now that we've loaded into GTA online, we should be in frozen money. So let's double check that by just buying some ammo. You can buy ammo just by clicking the interaction menu and going to inventory, ammo, and just try and buy it. Our money didn't move. So now that we're in frozen money, we can just buy whichever car we want. We can buy anything. I recommend the Deluxo. If you do not have the trade price, it is 2.8 million a sell, which is pretty good. So I'm just gonna buy as many Deluxos that'll fit in this garage. And then we're just going to simply wait around for all the Deluxos to be delivered. And then we are going to leave GTA Online. Just start options, leave GTA Online. Once we've loaded back into story, we should be homie G again. And what we are going to want to do first before doing anything else is click options. And we're going to head to settings, controls, and make sure your targeting mode is in free aim. So with our targeting mode in free aim, what we're going to do now is just kill ourselves. So I'm going to use the Skyfall cheat code, which is L1, L2, R1, R2, left, right, left, right, L1, L2, R1, R2, left, right, left, right. And we're going to fall from the sky and we're going to die. So now that we are dead, we are going to be experiencing a permanent black screen. In order to get out of this black screen, we need to join somebody else in a different targeting mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a community that I joined for this purpose. Most people don't play in free aim. So let's just join on a random guy. Sup? Capone 937 dude so we're gonna join him then we're gonna join him twice got this okay let's join him a third time this is the notification you want click circle and once you've done that click options online play GTA online invite only session now that we are back in GTA 5 online we're gonna go save the cars that we just bought in frozen money if you do not do this step nothing will save so let's go to our garage Follow these steps very carefully. If you miss a step here, it's not gonna save. So what we're gonna do is move every car over a slot. I like to do it twice, sometimes three times, because having to redo this just is not fun. So I'm just moving every Deluxo over one. One, 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 done, easy. You have to do this. 
When you're done with this, you're going to open the interaction menu and change your outfit twice. That will force a cloud save. Now that we've done that, we actually need to go to any other garage that we bought vehicles for. So this is a really easy one. We're just gonna pop into this two car garage, head over to the vehicle management circle, move it over one, boom, boom. Circle out of that, then go to style, change your outfit. If you do not change your outfit inside the garage, it will not save, I promise you. So now that we've done that, we're just gonna close app and we're gonna boot up GTA 5 online again. As soon as those police sirens hit, you're gonna hold L1, R1 on your controller to clear the cache. Right here, L1, R1. You're going to hold L1, R1 until you get the calibration screen. If you're having problems early on in this glitch, try resetting the cache, and you can also even do a harder reset by turning off your PlayStation, letting it sit for one to two minutes, and then upon booting GTA 5 online, clear the cache. I know that helped a lot of people with the last Frozen Money glitch video, so hopefully that helps you. Okay, the calibration screen. We're just gonna click X and we're gonna load into GTA 5 online. Such a long loading screen, even at times 10 speed, wow. Okay, now that we're back in GTA 5 online, we're gonna double check that all of our cars have saved, which they have. If done correctly, your car should have saved too. So basically we have 22 new Deluxos for free. And we're gonna go sell them for 2.8 million. That's about 56 to 60 million dollars. Save Wizard is 60 dollars, and an 8 million dollar shark card is 102 dollars. Do the math. Buy Save Wizard. Stop complaining. It's totally worth it. Fun fact: If you don't want to buy Save Wizard, the account that is featured in this video, I will be giving it away in my next video. This account roughly has 100 Deluxos on it currently, and I'm leveling it up as we speak. The giveaway will be announced this Sunday, so be sure to subscribe and be on the lookout for how to win. It is gonna be completely free. It's just gonna be a giveaway and a thank you for liking the videos and showing so much love on my last videos. I really appreciate it, guys. That's the video, that's the glitch. Give these videos a big wow by liking, subscribing, or don't. Peace.